It's your boy Lionel Ray back again with another Why Ask Why Selfishly Loving the Self. And like always, we're just going to jump right into it. Now this week, I'm talking about putting in the work. Putting in the physical work and the mental work and the emotional work. And what that means is, you know, what do you do? You know, how do you make change? How do you get consistent with loving yourself and loving others? Selfishly believing in that love. So, like always, let's start out with the problem. What most of us have to deal with, even myself. It starts off with the mental. And I learned a very valuable lesson from a teacher of mine. And simply put, none of us are psychic. None of us, you are not psychic. I am not psychic. So as soon as you have expectations for what love should be for anything, you're always going to be disappointed because people may react differently to something you do or something you want or something you want from them. So if you have to throw expectations out of the window and stop expecting things and start accepting things. You accept love. Accept yourself for the way you are. Accept others and, and, and judge not upon what you think someone should do. Oh, I did this for you and I wanted this type of reaction. Well, that's not their fault that you came up with what their reaction should be and they fell short of the mark because they're not you. You know, so it, it makes creating a situation where you can love yourself wholeheartedly and love others hard and you can't work in those confines. So that's the first thing and the biggest problem and hurdle to get over is understanding that we're all people, we're all flawed and we all want to be loved. We all want to, you know, feel a certain way in our in our day-to-day -day lives. So, how can we make this better? How can we fix these things so that we can understand what work we are putting in? Now, I'm going to have a link in the description below and probably right about here or right here, somewhere around up in this area, um, linking to a video, which I call the, the equation to success. It's time multiplied by energy equals success. And you can take this equation, apply it to anyone, whether they're uh, a celebrity or just have a very successful, happy life. And this equation is the perfect, for me, understanding of how it works. So I'll go into depth in that video. Um, but right now, I'm just going to say, use the equation for success, which is time multiplied by your energy. And what that's going to do for you is help you to gauge where you're putting your work, how you're going to put in the hard work. So I'll break it down for you quickly. You're in a relationship or you're single and you want to be loved or you want more love or you want something specific to change in the energy in the room. Well, sadly to say, the only real way to fix that is to do it yourself first. So I would like to have a relationship with a woman that wants to go to the gym and likes health and wants to be healthy inside and outside, mentally and physically. Well, I have to do it first. Because if I ever meet that person, how is she going to take me seriously? And for those of you out there who are wanting certain things and not finding it, well, look inward first and ask yourself, how much work am I putting in to my everyday life to make room for that to be a positive, real aspect of my relationship or my life or my job or whatever it may be? Now, when you say, these are the things that make me happy, these are the things that I want, especially in a significant other or in a friend or anything else. You have to first, like the last video, look at your mirror and say, what, are, what, am, what am I doing to show that about myself? How, how am I 
doing these things every day. And I have to ask myself this every day. I wake up and some days I don't feel like doing anything. You're tired, you're, you know, or you're depressed or you're just plum lazy. And that's fine. If you can acknowledge that, then cool. It makes not beating yourself up so much easier. But I have to wake up every morning and I have to say, what can I do? What can I do to make my life more successful, to, to get my life to where I want it to be? I have to wake up. I have to brush my teeth, take a shower, and, and, and put on some cologne and some nice clean clothes. So now I at least look respectable and, and I feel clean. I feel better. Now I have to get out the house and go do something or I have to clean the house or, you know, you have to do things. No one can survive just doing nothing. And so you have to look at your relationships. You have to look at your, your future and where you want it to be and you have to treat it the exact same way. Your future, your relationships die without you putting in any work. And that means every day. That means as time goes on, that shouldn't change. It should be consistent or it should get better. You want a good relationship? I was talking to a friend of mine and she felt like she was putting in 80% effort into her relationship. And if you feel that way, you might be. And that is a problem. And if you are in a relationship with someone that you like and you constructively look at that relationship, whether it's a friend relationship or more, and you say, I, this person does so much for me and I always feel like, you know, like I don't deserve this. And well, then there you go. Light bulb. What work are you putting into that relationship? And it doesn't have to be anything specific or the same thing that someone else does because everyone will realize and, and be appreciative of the energy you put into it because you're putting it in. You're doing that work, whether it's calling every day, which is something I can get better at. Uh, if you ask my family, my dad, I don't, I don't, I'm not the best person to call and to keep in contact unless you're my significant other. You know, whenever I've had a girlfriend or anything like that, I'm a little bit better at, at, at the communication thing because it's something I work at. And then I had to realize ah, you put that type of work in when you want something, but then you have other aspects of your life that you know, can be better if you treated them the same. And that's something that I constantly practice on today. Putting in the work in every single relationship that I can, where I call, I make time, I remember a birthday. Even if you have to set a reminder for yourself to take care of yourself. Hey, today is a me day and it's on my calendar. So I'm going to go take myself out regardless of how the month has gone or how I felt before this. I'm going to hold that appointment. I'm going to put in that work for me. And then when someone sees that, you put in that work for them and it grows. And now you're putting in the work for each other. And as we do these things, our life gets better. And we're able to then respect and love and treat ourselves with the utmost of care and admiration that we deserve. You know, I, I, I end a lot of my videos by saying, I love you and I hope you love yourself the way that I love me, because I love me. Saying that to you and to myself is putting in the work. It reminds myself that you made this promise to yourself and to people to show love. And every time I say that, it's a little reminder of you have to continue to show love. And it is a shame that there are people out here in this world that we live in that don't love themselves at all. And I think I have found that one of the reasons why is they do no work. They let life hit them. They let other things, you know, that happen affect them in a way that they forget sometimes that sometimes to make things better is to leave it in a room. Take whatever problem you're going with, take whatever's going on in your life, put it in a box and for a day, for an hour, put it in a closet, close the door, and walk out the room. It's not a thing. Now, I'm not saying to forget it there. <laughs> you have to come back and open that box and you have to deal with that. But put in that work that says, I'm not going to allow everything else in my life 
affect me loving me at the very least. Things may not be where I want them. Things not, may not be as lavish as you like. Or if you're a very low-key person and there's a bunch of drama going on and you just like quiet and you're just frustrated, anxiety-ridden, it's okay. Grab that stuff, put it in a box, turn your cell phone off, go for a walk. Take yourself to the movies. Go get something to eat. Sit by yourself and be proud to be in your own space and buy yourself a big dinner and enjoy it. And enjoy your time with you. Put in that work. Because then when you come out of that, you're going to look at that same problem when you open that box. So you're going to look at your friend group. And you're going to see it through fresher eyes and it's going to be easier to make moves. It's going to be easier to carry yourself. But when you're constantly do putting yourself and being stuck in these positions and you're not taking any time to actively do things for yourself or for others nothing changes there's no directory to go up you just stay here and sometimes you can even recess and and that's awful that is very awful but by getting up Taking a shower, you wash some of that stuff off. But then, put on some perfume or cologne and walk outside. I've had times where I just get up and I go outside and I walk. I'm not going anywhere in particular, but I just need the fresh air. And then I need to clear my head. By the time I get back, I've, I've, I feel way different. It's not always better, and that's okay. Sometimes it's just different. And just the, different enough to where I look at the situation in a way where I can then find a solution. And then I feel better. But it always takes me going, ah, okay, I see what happened. And now this is what I have to do. I have to get up. And you can make it small. Make it small things. A good way to do this is, you know... Pick a day where you make yourself a breakfast. And not your meal prep. Whatever your favorite cheat day breakfast is. You know, or give yourself a goal of not eating sugar. And find a day where you go get your favorite candy bar. See, because that time where you're not having it, and you might even be craving it. It doesn't always feel the best, but that's life. And then when you give yourself the reward of the thing you want, that's putting in the work, and that's the success. But then that line changes, and you have to do it again. But it gets easier because it comes repetition that I always do these things for me. I make sure I get sleep. I make sure I do this. I make sure I do that. That's normal. Now on top of it, how do you really show yourself that you care about yourself? Do you take yourself shopping? Will you go to dinner and a movie by yourself? I take me to dinner and a movie all the time. So much that my sibling bought me movie gift cards so I can go see movies. And I love it. That's one of the best gifts you can ever give me is because I love going to the movies. And I will take myself. But also, because people know I love the movie so much, I take people with me. And they love going, because love, they know, oh, I'm going to the movies with LB. Psh, he about to bit of popcorn, the candy. We're going to buy this. We're going to get this. It's going to be a whole thing. Because I do. I make it a whole thing. And now, anytime I go to the movies, I, it has to be a whole thing. And I love it. Even on my worst days, I can take myself to a movie and I feel better afterwards. So don't be shy on putting in the work because the worst thing you can do for yourself is nothing. Things may be hard. You may have just gone through a bad breakup. You may have just gotten fired for a job. But you never know what's on the next horizon, what's in the next room if you don't walk through the door. And sometimes it just takes taking a step back and doing something for yourself. 
So do it. Put in the work. Don't say you want to lose weight. Don't say, don't just say you want to be loved. Figure out how you want to love yourself so that you can give that to others in an actual sense. And you can wake up every morning, tell yourself I love you. When you can tell yourself I love you, it's so much easier to tell someone else I love you. And it not be a weird thing. I can say I love you and it doesn't mean we have to get married tomorrow or... I love you because I do. I love you. Love is what we need. And love is what helps us all to succeed in life in our relationships and to feel better about ourselves. So I hope this video helps. And I'll say it one more time. Put in the work. Do the work. It's your boy, Lionel Ray. Thank you. Comment, like, subscribe. Let me know what you want to talk about. If there's anything that you want to talk about, put it in the comment section below. I read those things. I've got a couple of people who are now new followers. I want to say thank you for all of your love and thank you for chiming in. I hope you love yourself the way that I love me because I love myself wholeheartedly and I selfishly love you as well. Blessings. Peace.